Welcome to Let's Do English. In this video, we will learn about the parts of speech, especially nouns in particular. If you are returning or just stumbled upon my channel, a warm welcome. Let us get on with the lesson. Now, what are nouns? A noun is a word that refers to a person, place, or thing. Nouns can be divided into the following categories. Concrete noun and abstract noun. A concrete noun is a noun that exists physically. They can be recognized by your senses. You can see, touch, taste, smell, and hear. For example, candles, cup, lamp, flower. Abstract noun are nouns that cannot be seen and touched. For example, we have friendship, love, humor, joy, wisdom. Common nouns and proper nouns. Common noun is a generic name given to a person, place, or thing. Proper noun is a specific name of a person, place, or thing. A proper noun should always start with a capital letter. Here are a few examples of common nouns and proper nouns. Man, woman is an example of common nouns, while the names Alex and Shania are examples of proper nouns. Television is a common noun, while the brand names Samsung, LG, Sony are examples of proper nouns. Car is a common noun. The brand names Audi, BMW, Toyota are all proper nouns. Company is a common noun. Apple, IBM are all examples of proper nouns. Handbag is a common noun. Ralph Lauren is a proper noun. Compound nouns and collective nouns. Compound nouns are nouns made up of two or more words. Compound nouns are of three types. Closed or solid compound nouns. These nouns do not have any spaces between them. For example, bedroom, toothpaste, haircut. Note that these words are made up of two separate words. They come together to form one single word. Hyphenated compound nouns. These nouns are hyphenated. For example, sister-in-law, well-being. The third type of compound nouns are separated compound nouns. These nouns are separated by spaces. For example, science fiction, ice hockey. Collective nouns refers to group of people or things. Most of the time, collective nouns is treated as a singular noun. Let us look at this example here. It is nice to hear the band play every evening. However, there is an exception to this rule. When the members are performing actions individually, we use the plural form. For example, the crowd were all moving in different directions. Let us look at the following categories here and see the corresponding collective nouns. Cattle, a herd of cattle. For bees, a swarm of bees. Puppies, a litter of puppies. Musicians, a band of musicians. People gathered together, we call them a crowd. For birds, we say a flock of birds. And for cakes, we say a batch of cakes. Now the last type of nouns are countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are nouns that can be counted. Countable nouns takes the articles a, an, or the. Also note that countable nouns take both the singular and the plural forms. For example, a car, four dolls, an apple, two chairs. Note that these words can be used with countable nouns. Many, a few, fewer, some, a lot of. 
Uncountable nouns are nouns that cannot be counted. However, it is possible to measure it. Some of the examples of uncountable nouns are water, furniture, money. Now we can measure these by saying bottle of water, a cup of milk, 10 pounds of rice, 1 tablespoon of flour, etc. Some of the words that can be used with uncountable nouns are much, a little, less, some, and a lot of. Hope this video really helped. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe. Also, don't forget to like and share this with your friends. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. I will see you all next week with another video.